Hello, boys and girls, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, where since last time, some things have happened. We have got rid of the uh, temporary uh, metal refinement over on this side, because now we have a proper set up here on this side, or as proper as we can make it, because... Uh, the uh, cooling set up for this this upper part uh, is not in yet how we cool the thing is uh, by have a bit of uh, radiant pipe here uh, which cools down the uh, hydrogen that we have in here and usually that works however that also means that the water coming uh, out down here uh, comes out at a higher temperature so the cooling in this room is not as optimal as it could be um, What else do we have? Uh, yeah, I placed the carbon skinner down here to get rid of the carbon dioxide in the lower part of our base uh, We have some more beds here and we are up to 10 duplicates by now. We are facing a bit of uh, a problem with our water because the levels down here are pretty low. That's why I added a liquid reservoir here on top of things so that the water primarily goes through here Actually, this bridge can now be deconstructed, so we all we should always have some water on the side for our oxygen production, and only then basically overflow goes here to the right, uh, which then also means um, for our farm we need to tap into that water down here so that's that let's take these eggs um, and then down here we have found the uh, biobot builder trait um, which uh, we can access here um, not yet uh, uh, focused on that really because this one uh, in order to continuously uh, produce biobots uh, requires steel continuously so maybe it's a bit too early for that but then down here you can see a lot of purple and that's because that's sour gas in sour gas uh happens if uh, oil turns into petroleum and petroleum into a uh, sour gas because of high temperatures and as you can see we do have a spot here that's quite on the warm side actually so warm that quite a lot of materials that we have placed here in in this area just melted away like our fire pole uh, even our ladder uh, needed to be of a different material and the conductive wire needed to be made out of steel so we can pump up a bit of oil from down here for our refinement setup but with that setup going we have a bit of steel we have small amount of copper um we also should have a bit of, of iron on the side iron i at least at that point i mainly use uh, to produce steel and then the copper we can use for all the uh, where we need refined metals um, then also down here, I think we saw that already last time, we have um, uh, two uh, oil reservoirs that we can tap into, but for that we need water, 
and over on this side that's a copper volcano which is something quite nice so in this series we are focusing on ranching and last time we did the pip form which is doing excellent uh, actually probably overcrowded we have a fish tank we have our hatch farm um, our draco farm looks not so good because temperatures down here are too hot so the mealwood cannot grow if the mealwood does not grow um, the, they cannot feed um, um, they will eventually die so we will address that eventually but probably not in today's episode um, I have been thinking what to focus on today. Uh, one thing that came to mind are the uh, puffs. And uh, they basically need a uh, polluted oxygen atmosphere. Uh, or chlorine atmosphere. They can also thrive in, in normal oxygen. Uh, but I think the pops come in handy uh, when you want to uh, produce a bit of slime with them. And currently we do have quite a bit of uh, polluted oxygen, but it's not really renewable. So maybe I will hold off with that and maybe we can find an air geyser that spits out polluted oxygen we, we will see uh, but today we will focus on these guys the slickers, slicksters and the way we do that is we will build a farm down here and basically we want to have a floor that allows the, uh, the oil to drip down into our setup that we will have for, uh, for our, uh, our uh, uh, oil uh, production down here. Um, so let's see then. that that looks about right um, then we will have let's try a door like this on that side then basically ladder here on this side and I think for our oil production we will first tap into uh, uh, this water body here which apparently at one point was uh, uh, ice um, based on the on the wieswarts there uh, and then once we have uh, removed that water we can probably come in through this side and avoid this this hot part this this hot area there so probably we need that there um, and there we will have a bit of a, a roof going way and here in the back we probably also want to have a door let's make it like this and then as always we need a creature drop off um, oh yeah 
here at the top. So the carbon dioxide from above uh, is let through. We don't need that on here, uh, but what we need is a working station. And then we will let the duplicates build this up. Uh, and uh, we will see what else we can we can manage to do in this episode. We have dug out this part here, and now we have to figure out how to uh, separate the uh, oil from above from the natural gas that we will eventually have down below. And we do have a gas pump here um, that does separate uh, carbon dioxide, which goes in here, and everything else which goes further up. And I think what I want to do is basically pull in um, a bit of a floor here so that the, the oil and maybe the petroleum from the farm can collect on here and then have a kind of like liquid lock uh, on the side uh, where with enough pressure um, the liquids will go down but as it is a lock um, the gases will not be able to pass the liquid. I'm not sure if this will work out. Um, so we would then have something like this. And basically here on this side. have uh, two geysers down here one is a as a uh, salt water the other is a polluted water so eventually I think we can use those uh, for uh, for our water needs down here but, uh, at, the, at the moment I think this will be the way how uh, we do things. So let's dig out two more layers here. And that should enable us to go all the way down there. And eventually we will collect enough oil here on this side so it pushes over there and forming a lock uh, in this tile. Um, which basically would allow oil to, uh, to flow down and uh, the, the gas not going up. And what we have to see then is what happens if we have a mix with crude oil and uh, petroleum. We will have to see because maybe the petroleum uh, we uh, collect then here on top, and we will see when when we come to that, or maybe we will have a separate form for the for the molten slicks. 
we will have to see once we get some molten slicks actually in here. But for now, we have to uh, uh, build this up and hopefully then we can see how the, uh, how the lock forms and we can also dig out the rest. Uh, we will have wall here and then basically down here somewhere we will have a collection area from where we can pump up the oil. And by the looks of it, down here we have another ice biome. So it's a bit more digging, a bit more building, and then we will be finished with this farm as well. So far, this separation here is working. What's not so working is uh, the gas situation here. We have the sour gas now down here instead of the carbon dioxide uh, because we got a lot of steam here uh, in this area where it's really hot uh, and the steam came out of uh, broken pipes. Uh, so we have to get rid of the of the steam of the of the water um, and then I also added a bit of insulation here on this side in the hope that we can contain the hot temperatures on this side uh, and protect this area a bit more from um, the overheat. I hope that once we have finished this setup down here um, we will be able to have uh, the water flowing through the pipes uh, so it's not standing in the pipes uh, and thereby heating up unnecessarily and breaking the pipes but we will see. Uh, for the gas situation I have also added a pipe from up here all the way from there so the exhaust from our natural gas um, uh, generators are directly pumped down and that uh, will hopefully over time uh, create the necessary pressure to lift the, the sour gas up especially once uh, the, uh, all the steam here has, has dissipated. But, uh, down here we're making decent progress everything is is let out and uh, and planned so eventually we will be able to pump out oil or petroleum from from down here uh, and uh, use that as uh, as part of of our power structure if we have more power we then can also uh, think about cooling setups and uh, more amenities for our duplicates. But that will do for today. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, tune in next time when we will tackle uh, another farm, another ranch for some creatures. So until then, goodbye!